Hi, I'm Arnie Gunderson from Fairwinds, and today is Wednesday, April 13th. I'd like to talk to you today about three things that have uh, have come up in the last couple of uh, couple of days. Um, the first is that uh, Tokyo Electric has raised the uh, accident severity level to a seven. Uh, the second is some uh, similarities that I'm seeing between how this accident's progressing and Three Mile Island and Chernobyl in regards to um, controlling the information. And the, and the third is I received a lot of emails about uh, what should I do um, here in the States and what should I do in different countries about um, potentially changing lifestyle habits or leaving. So I'd like to talk about those today. But the first one is uh, yesterday, TEPCO changed the, uh, the, the rating of this accident from a 5 to a 7. And what that means is they had been saying it was like Three Mile Island, and now they're saying it's as severe as Chernobyl. Well, I felt that way for almost uh, the, the, last, uh, the last month. And uh, uh, it, frankly, it, it should come as no surprise to anyone that this accident is as bad. There's seven nuclear reactors and fuel pools that are not being cooled here, and there's been three meltdowns and, um, and an explosion in a fuel pool. So the net effect is that uh, uh, this is certainly a, a, you know, a catastrophe on the, on the level of Chernobyl, and has been for the last couple of months, couple of weeks rather. You know, it's, um, it's interesting because um, before this accident occurred, the worst that anybody ever thought would be one nuclear reactor uh, not with a meltdown, but with 1% nuclear fuel fail, and containment retained its integrity, and, and uh, this is three nuclear reactors, a fuel pool, etc. Um, this is about a thousand times worse than um, ever anticipated by the nuclear planners. The, the second thing is that um, I've noticed some uh, disturbing similarities between the uh, information that's coming out of uh, Fukushima and what came out of Chernobyl and what came out of TMI. Um, you may remember I was an expert in that trial in the 90s. Um, and it, it seems as if um, uh, the, the, the government and also the people that own the reactors um, begin to uh, try to control the information and, uh, and limit a couple of things. They try to limit the, uh, the amount of radiation released and they try to limit the uh, effect of that radiation on, um, on people. And then the other thing is they try to delay evacuations until they're, they're, they're too late. Um, I saw that at Three Mile Island and I saw that at Chernobyl. And I see it beginning to occur here too. Now, back on the 30th anniversary of Three Mile Island, I was invited to Harrisburg, to the capital, and I, I, I gave a speech. Uh, and it's up here on the website right next to the, the video here. Um, it's, um, it was about what I call the three myths of Three Mile Island. And um, if trends continue, we could call it the three myths of Fukushima as well. I'm hoping that in an internet era that uh, more information will be uh, available to uh, more independent scientists and that uh, governments and utilities don't try to monopolize that data. Um, it's about a half an hour video, and uh, at the beginning of it, you'll hear music in the background. Uh, while I was giving the speech, there was a marching band in a rotunda next to the room. So uh, I, I ask you to, if you watch the video, to um, bear with me for the first 10 minutes for the, the music in the background. Um, right after my speech, Dr. Steve Wing gave a speech um, about the actual health effects of Three Mile Island. And uh, because the, um, the, the radiation releases had been downplayed by the Nuclear Regulatory Commission and by, um, by the Three Mile Island itself, um, you know, we've been led to believe there were no uh, injuries. Um, Dr. Wing's data clearly shows that that's wrong. And I'm concerned that we're beginning to see the industry circle the wagons and, uh, and, and make that presentation. I, I heard it on NPR today, for example. So. Um, Please be aware that the, the trend of trying to consolidate information is not new, but I think in the internet era we stand a chance to um, to break that. The um, 
The last thing today is that uh, I've had many, many emails from people uh, saying, what should I do? Should I move? Should I change the way I eat? Um, and um, a, a lot of the U.S. government sites are down right now. And I'm not going to attribute motive to that, but I will let you know that um, I'm concerned that we're not getting the radiation data that we should be getting from the U.S. government sites. There's a lot of independent uh, scientists out there that are gathering data. And I think that probably by next week I'll be in a position to better, better estimate what that, what that is. I guess if you're, um, if you're concerned, um, washing leafy vegetables can't hurt and, um, and, and, and watching milk consumption can't hurt. But short of that, I really um, uh, don't have any data to, um, uh, to share with you this week. I think maybe next week we will. Now, finally, two things. I promised uh, a f more thorough review of the Areva report. Um, with events like this upgrade to a 7, I haven't gotten around to that yet. I, I will. And uh, last but certainly not least, uh, on Friday, um, I've been invited to a two-hour uh, 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 television show with uh, Deepak Chopra and several other nuclear experts. It's going to be um, accessible via the net, and there's a link on this page to, um, to link you to it. It'll be at uh, 6 o'clock Eastern Time um, on Friday. Um, that probably will be the video for Friday from, from my standpoint. And um, I, I hope you can uh, click that link and, and, and watch it. Finally, um, Fairwinds uh, actually has a day job and, and making these presentations is not it. Um, I hope that you can um, uh, look toward that donate button on our page and, uh, and help support this. We're not drawing any salaries for making these presentations. However, keeping up the web um, and, and the web presence is, is costly, and uh, I hope you choose to do it. I will get back to you in a couple of days, but let me give you, leave you with one last thought, and that's everybody knows the moment that Three Mile Island and the moment that Chernobyl happened, but who knows when they end? Thank you.